Uh, what we're describing in this paper is the work that we did with some of the world leading museums like the British Museum, the Museum of Natural History in, in London um, and taking their objects and their subjects and scanning them and showing the interior of those very exciting objects uh, in, uh, in new ways and, and doing engaging storytelling for, for the general public and their visitors. The um, mummy from the British Museum, the Gebelein Man, is more than 5,000 years old, uh, a natural mummy that was found in the desert in, in Egypt. Uh, it turns out that in the, in the scanning process and in the uh, virtual autopsy that we conducted on the mummy, we found out that it was actually a, a murder case, the mummy. Uh, this uh, young male had been uh, stabbed in the back and uh, died from the, from the wound, wound and ended up uh, drying in the desert. And, and now after the scan, uh, we could tell the story of this mummy. And we have an installation at the British Museum uh, in Gallery 64 uh, where visitors can interactively explore the mummy and at the same time study the the physical subject that's still on display at the British Museum uh, and this becomes a very powerful setup with a digital display using state-of-the-art technology together with the physical subject and in a, in a study of the um, visitor flow through the gallery we realized that the interest uh, significantly increased, increased for the physical subject and at the same time uh, the uh, uh, utilization of the uh, dissection table was more than 97% of the time, uh, which was a very, very good result. For, uh, and, and this was the, uh, really the reason why the British Museum decided to uh, have this table as a permanent exhibit at the museum. But uh, the focus of this paper is really on how we take this technology and turn it into some very interesting and engaging installations as, and exhibits in the public domain at science centers and, and museums. Um, the project in itself took off when we realized that these data sets from medical scanning uh, was the carrier of some very interesting stories that we could tell to the general public. Uh, and this also um, involves the um, element of doing interactive storytelling, which is an interesting research topic uh, in, in itself. Um, what we did was taking uh, data sets from, from medical scans and showcasing them in, in the public domain. The core of the project is, is really um, uh, the combination of, uh, of fundamental basic research and uh, the emergence of touch interfaces and some very nice interaction design for those tables. We, uh, we started looking at a project called uh, Virtual Autopsies where we looked at uh, large-scale data sets and how we could handle those to do interactive real-time visualization on touch interfaces and, and that eventually turned into the virtual autopsy project and the virtual autopsy table um, which then was the subject of a, of a commercialization process uh, and, and today we have installations in more than 300 places all over the world where we are using this table for primarily medical uh, education of, uh, of, of medical students doing virtual dissection work but it's also used for uh, things like pre-surgical planning uh, and also diagnostic work in, uh, for radiology. Get all the details in interactive visualization of 3D scanned mummies at public venues, a contributed article in the December 2016 issue of Communications of the ACM.